The Steelers had another impressive victory. This time, they beat the Rams 17 to 12. I am also proud of the Steelers. They have won five out of the last six games. They're playing very well. They held the high powered scoring offense of the Rams to only three points. This is phenomenal. The offense is playing well with Mason Rudolph and the defense is playing well too. So despite being under man, despite not having their starting quarterback and their starting running back, the Steelers were able to beat the high powered scoring Rams. They beat them and they played very well overall despite being undermanned. That Steelers defense is phenomenal. Led by Minka Fitzpatrick. Right now, he is their defensive MVP. This trade that the Steelers made for him, this might be one of the best trades they have ever made. He has resurrected the Steelers defense. This defense is playing lights out football led by him. Yesterday, he had a fumble return for a touchdown, and he had an interception in the fourth quarter to steal the deal for the Steelers. I'm happy for the Steelers defense. They are playing lights out football, particularly him, particularly Minka Fitzpatrick, and they are on a trajectory to make it to the playoffs. This team is not giving up. Despite starting off the season 0-3, they are turning it around. They won five of the last six games, and they're gonna keep winning, and they will make it to the playoffs. In fact, right now, if the season were to end, the Steelers would be in the playoffs. They'd be a wild card team. Any team that plays the Steelers, they're gonna be in trouble because the offense is scoring just enough to win, and the defense is so tough to score against. They've got phenomenal pass rushers in TJ Watt and Haywood. They've got Dupree. And then in the secondary, you got Hayden is playing well. And we know about Mika Fitzpatrick. We know how well he's doing. So they're doing just enough to win. And we also have to give kudos to Mike Tomlin as well. He is always getting his team ready to play. This team always gives his best effort despite who is currently playing on game day. So that ultimately falls on the head coach. We've got to give Mike Tomlin kudos. He should be considered NFL head coach of the year. He should be in consideration for that because he has his team ready to play all the time. I am so happy that they beat the Rams, which by the way, is not easy to do because the Rams, as, they, as we know, they've got Jared Goff, they've got Todd Gurley, they've got Woods, they've got Cooper Cup, They've got so many explosive dynamic players on offense, but the Steelers were able to shut them down. So I'm very proud of the Steelers. They played phenomenal football on Sunday. Despite being shorthanded and undermanned, they were able to come out with a victory against the Rams. And I look forward to seeing them in the playoffs this season, and I look forward to, forward to them making big noise in the playoffs as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So definitely subscribe. And do me one last favor too. If you gain any value from this video, I'm going to ask that you please press the like button. That would greatly help me out as well. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.